Tell me you done lost your mind. You sound like Kanye. So I'm gonna write. You gotta be kidding me, man. I, I stay getting DMs, emails about, oh, Republican cities are just as bad as Democrat cities. Well, show me. I, I mean, with life experience, with the news, statistics, all of it shows that even if you're in a Republican state, the Democratic cities are horrible. Like, especially they're, they're infiltrated with crime and robberies, assault, all this. I'm not saying Republican cities don't have crime, but it's not this type of crime at these type of rates. Show me this. Shooting a gunman opening fire on a Bronx street. Two children are caught between the gunman and his target. The shooter just continues shooting. Show me consistently Republican cities that have crimes just like this. Show me. Email, link, whatever. Drop it below. You see a woman being kicked from behind as she walks down the steps of the Queens Plaza subway station in Long Island City. She is then hit over the head with a hammer as many as 13 times as she is shoved to the ground and robbed. Also, There's also moped riding thieves and this home robbery suspect. You see him run up to the victim and point a gun at her waist as she is opening her front siege, door. And we desperately need the help from law enforcement to eradicate the threats of violence that are plaguing our society. Here in the, the city main of cities that cried about defunding the police and have the strictest gun laws and the highest crime rates when it comes to robbery, assault, all of it, murder. Like, see something, stop. say something. That's the police department's way of utilizing the 1020 way. life law, like Florida has. You do the crime, you do the time, man. You're not sitting at home after you committed a murder with an ankle bracelet on, waiting for your hearing or your or your trial. That's crazy to me. You know, you, do you know how many people got out in in the state of New York that got out on bond and committed more crimes or committed murder? Like, look it up. It's that all symbiotic there. relationship with police. It allows and affords the transfer of information to bring violent criminals in the country. Tell me, what, what's the excuse for this type of violence? Is it poverty? Uh, is it oppression? Like. For real, tell by violence and seeing videos like this it doesn't help. Headline after headline is really getting to New Yorkers who just don't feel safe walking the streets. They just hit somebody with a bat openly in public, like no problems, no questions asked. Rape, robberies, assaults, burglary, grand larceny, all up compared to the same time last year. The only category that remained the same, murders. Meanwhile, surveillance cameras are everywhere, recording 24-7. Yet some of the perps don't seem to care. But Porcher says it's been proven. It's often the videos and photos. Send me something showing different, man. Y'all stay safe out there. Talk it out, bro. Peace.